Hi, I'm Brutid again. And we had this little pop-up that the network manager says uh, you're connected. And I don't want to see that ever again. So I was quick enough to click on it. And you're actually in the system settings, notifications, application settings, network management. That's where you are when you have, you're fast enough to respond on that uh, pop-up. And if you don't want to see the message, show a message in a pop-up, gone. Apply and we'll never see it again. So this little text that's in here, notifications, application settings, all kind of things that, well, maybe bug you and send you all kinds of uh, information and you don't want to see it, it's here. Application settings, notifications. All right, um, so Ctrl-T, I rebooted, did all my installations, and yes, I was correct, 5.2.3 kernel is kicking in now. 1,722 uh, packages, that's the most we have. That's Plasma for you. It's a complete full Plasma as well, because there's a minimal version, so you can install that one, but you'll get, of course, less applications, right? It's somewhere. So. Um, the control print screen is working. We can take a new screenshot. So we can save this as something. I don't know. There's no error message anymore. Oh, yeah, I wanted to check if it is, is a GPG right now. Voila, GPEG. That's okay. GPEG was standard selected. For me, that's best for the website. It gives me a smaller amount of kilobytes, which makes a website just faster. Okay, um, so finally, I guess we get to the question of the user. Let's do a PKS YUA. No, I'm not going to do that right now. Just right now. We can delete something, I think, here. Pseudo pacman minus R. This is no longer needed. Lip and M. GTK, I think, we'll see. You're out, which gives me this kind of look. This one, we know what this is. Um, it's um, the developer who doesn't want to change. Well, it has its reasons to not change that thing. And I have my reasons to install the screen key JIT in respect. Yeah, it's from yay, so from AOR. Pac-Man does not know things coming from AOR. We need yay or Trizen for it. So I'm gonna get this one in. You don't need to install it, it's just for me. A screen key git, oh, sorry, uh, screen key git Ah, my number key is not on by default. Let's go to system settings. Let's go to whoo, desktop behavior. Uh, that is long ago. Where did I set that startup shutdown? I feel I'm close. I feel I'm close. I feel I'm close. Desktop sessions. Let me pause and find it for you. Okay, found it in input devices, keyboard, number clock on Plasma Startup. Turn on, please. Thank you very much. So I have a separate keyboard, uh, a keypad. And yeah, I was just used to having that on, right? So turn on, keypad, num lock on Plasma Startup. Done. Important thing, things that bug you. Not nice. So I can type one and say screen key, install that one. So like I was saying, this thing is actually interesting for me to show the keyboard keyboard uh, shortcuts I press. I do use a mod all the time, even on all the beautiful desktops and all that. It's easy to do a super shift return and get your stuff, your dolphin in this case, or a control alt T. And if I put on the screen key, you'll actually see me pressing these um, buttons. So um, that's out. So less, one less. 
And this one is actually maintained by me, so I should maintain it. Um, on AOR, Arch User Repository, all packages are maintained by a simple person, simple user, who is going to grab it from Debian, from Red Hat, from GitHubs, from Zips and TarGZs and all that. And we get a package build from it, a recipe. And it's, the recipe says, hey, go get package version 83. And next time the, the developer releases package 84, I don't see it, the maintainer doesn't see it, go to AOR, flag it out of date, he gets a mail, I need to respond. Okay, so that's how it works. Um, make an account on AOR and flag it out of date if you see that there's a new package released on these all these sources. We cannot keep track of it. But together, we can. Okay, so finally, yeah, I'm ready. I like what I see. I have my numeric lock on. And there was one thing I don't see. You, I don't like, but you don't see it. I bought me recently, maybe we can have a look at it. I bought me recently a keyboard. And no, not bad, a good, bad idea. I'm gonna go to Firefox. Not Firefox Vivaldi, I mean. Because it opens my YouTube channel. Oh God. You see, I show you everything, I really do. You see all these things in here. Well, that's Vivaldi for you. Bookmarks, manage bookmarks. All my bookmarks are okay until these guys. Delete. And then empty trash. And we have a proper, uh, well, look. What I wanted to show is my last creation of a video. And that is the one videos about this one, course air. Oh yeah, we can't do it like that, but we can do it like that. So it's a uh, keyboard that I just bought and um, the keyboard, this is a better picture. So this is a kind of coloring scheme on this uh, machine and it's not okay. I don't, I, I, I didn't set it, of course, it's just, I just bought it. I mean, Plasma for one month ago will not have it. So I'll go to my file manager, Control H, too much things to see, Control H, hide all the stuff you don't wanna see. Um, I have here an article plasma, it seems, okay. So if, 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 control H, if it isn't actually git, if you, do if you did a git clone at some point in time, right? You can always go back and say, what has changed since a month ago? You can go to the actions, open terminal here, and git pull. So you're pulling the new data from our place and indeed, I did change a lot of things. Maybe we should take a look at that as well. So a git pull. I made changes in the all these scripts. Use your, all your cores, display manager, sound, Bluetooth. I've changed a lot of things in here, you see? And maybe some of the things can help you solve your issues. So getting to know what's inside these scripts can be interesting, but not the topic of the video, okay? So Arco Plasma. Now, let me please make a few folders because I hate this chaos. So this is um, Arco Plasma, which means it's coming from Arco Linux D. Okay, check. So open with a great new, I mean. This is coming from the GitHub Arco Linux D. You go in here, move here, done, control H. Then there is another thing I would like to show, which will fix my keyboard because I don't like what I'm looking at. It's all rainbowy color, purple, blue, and then it moves from left to right, green and all that. It's, it's a little psychedelic, bit uh, like I'm on drugs or something. So no, don't want that. So I'm gonna 
make a new folder data and insight actions open terminal here i'm gonna git clone something you need to know anyway git clone https there are lots of articles about it github.com eric dubois so it's a personal thing Arco Linux Nemesis. Maybe there are things in here you like as well. So use R scripts. Don't run them, but read them and then run them. Change them maybe first. Because this is what I do after a clean installation. I run all these things. I say to a little script, run that, run that, run that. Don't run that, this one because I want a minimal installation. Run this one because I want a bare installation, stuff like that. I have three scripts minimal, bare, and um, so on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this little Arco get started one. So that's the link. That's the scripts I install after every clean installation. It's also on arclinux.com. You can reuse my scripts to write them, to, to make them your own, right? So in here, this keyboard is called ckb next git if i install that one everything is fine so i just figure it out once oh my god i figure it out once and then i make a little script with it ckb next and then go ahead my friend install yes please so it's on the AUR, which means it needs to be built, and that's what we see. Uh, all the cores are normally active, which we could take a look at with Cotop or something. Is that installed? Gtop is that installed? Gtop is installed. So all these cores are here. One peak. Boom. It's still building. The building process takes some time here. You see some, I time some uh, CPU. But it's often the compressing that's going to, well, go through the roof, going for 100%. If you are an Arch Linux B builder already, you'll see at some point in time it's going to build the ISO and it's going all through to 100%. Everything, every kernel gonna work pretty hard and your machine is going to heat up your fans kick in that's a, a CPU intensive process this is still okay voila we're done so that's installed interesting to see do not ask again close window because the process was running right now my coloring is still the same I wonder if I do sudo so when I reboot it will be okay but I want to see it right now. Uh, like this. No, nope, it's not kicking in, unfortunately. So I'll need to reboot and then my rainbow things here will be gone. So, okay. Then um, a lot of information has gone into this video already. And the intention was basically just to, uh, well, explain something to a user on the forum. But like I said, these videos are i'll show everything right so okay dolphin that's a dolphin question um maybe i should take as well a moment to explain that we have dolphin right and we have also thunar you'll see that that many of our desktops always have thunar why because we have the possibility in thunar to have a fast file manager but also to use compare ownership to root and all our things that we do like all these custom uh, things that we have here are not available on other file managers so moving getting thunar on other desktops makes us back in control we can go to the file system etc right mouse click and this one is important open folder as root we can actually become root in thunar we can actually change things here and say okay i'm gonna test stuff out i'm gonna change things and i don't care how to look how it looks i just want to get in there right so off awful look but 
its root. So <clears throat> that's why, for one reason and all the others, custom actions, just not uh, open folders root is just one of them. So yeah, that's uh, one reason. Because in Dolphin, I, I can't, we can't. So if you see a solution maybe to become uh, a root inside Dolphin would be nice, but a few months ago I checked uh, the code and it was actually hardwired, so we can't go into uh, the file manager and become root. But Thunar is there to the rescue. But things change, so maybe in Dolphin it is now possible. Finally, we are getting at the question the user asks. What if, um, let's do an, another exercise. Can I compare things with each other? With this melt menu, I have here set file or folder. Uh, it might be that, so it's, 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 uh, I see things in here that we have created already. So the question is, can we compare things with melt? And I see here already in my actions, melt menu. So we've explained it already in another video. So let me first get me something to compare with. So we have Arco Plasma there. Let's get me something else. Git clone HTTPS github.com Arco Linux D Arco XFCE. What's the difference between Arco Linux D and Arco Linux? Uh, sorry. Arco Plasma, so the Arco Linux D Plasma and Arco Linux D XFC. The difference being right mouse click and then melt, compare with, compare selected files. I think this one. So it's working already. My thing he asks, and there are some differences. You can, this is the way to analyze what's the difference between one desktop and another one. We install the, bird, the X, X cursor breeze. And so on, we install a plasma greeter and not the normal uh, greeter. And of course there's Dolphin and there's Console. So there's a file manager and there's a terminal, things like that. So in retrospect, I've made this um, solution already in another video. So let's take a look how it's done. So we go to, where was it again? Configure shortcuts, configure toolbars, configure Dolphin. I think this one. Services, yep. And then I must have installed it somehow. We have here melt, melt menu. So download new services is the button. And search is the words. Melt is the other one. It seems I've installed this one because this one says update. So melt menu of Roman Kiefer is just working fine. So that's the one I can actually update. Why not? And then um, all the rest, only three, it seems. I haven't tried. So if one works, stick with it. Simple as that. And um, well, unfortunately, well, for the user, it has been already installed. It is working. You could actually change a little bit so that we learn a little bit ourselves. So we have the melt menu of one, two, three. One, two, three. I don't need this one, don't need that one. I just need this one. So I guess if I do this, this and this and apply, that's good enough for me, all right? Less complexity, that's all I ever wanted. And these two maybe also working, melt. All right, don't need anything more. So these two are out now in this video and we'll get only this guy, all right? Oh, okay. So still working, melt, fine. So that's how we use Melt, and Melt is indeed a super tool. These guys on the desktop of Plasma have something else. It's called Compare Files. 
If there's somebody smarter than me, tell me because I can't type anywhere in these files. And I wonder if I need to set anything or at all, but you can go to previous deference. This this we can all do, but uh, all these buttons, which I had hopefully not saving now, this card. Um, that we can do, but I rather like to type and to, to sometimes fix the typo and stuff like that. And that seems not to be possible in the case with and maybe we can get three. I haven't tried that yet. Well, there's only melt now, I guess, or... Compare files. So if we have three, we can't compare. But my friend, when we have three, we just keep on going with melt. Just so you know, keep developing. All right, so that's it for me. Your melt menu is, is there. Um, we are back on track. We are end of um, July, meaning this SSD has moved another month and a half in the future. Everything is up to date. We can change a lot of things as well. This is our look, Nemoc and the Numix look. We can actually read it in here, I guess. Breeze, no new mix, never, ever. Okay, for the people who want to know the look, there doesn't seem to say it there. Look and feel, it's the new mix one that we have. And um, that's, well, the look we like. At the moment, right? At the moment. So enjoy your plasma, keep on rolling. Don't believe what people say. Uh, just update your thing and have fun. All right, cheers.